Welcome to another Sunday Sunshine Show and I'm at the park today. So I've, um, it's actually Monday and the teachers here in Vegas have a teacher's training day. So all the schools are closed, the kids are off and uh, the children, grandchildren asked if they could come to a park. So I said, yeah, no problem. I got here, the mum's with them um, and it's really windy, really, really windy, but they're having a great time. Let me show you what they're up to. So I'm staying in the car and I thought, well, I might as well use my time effectively. And I thought I'd shoot today's video. So today we are talking about life lessons after 50, things we wish we had known in our 20s. So I've got a few things written down and they are in no particular order of importance. So let's jump into number one. And that is... I wish I had started investing earlier, right in my late teens, right out of college, 18. I wish I had started investing. Now, I didn't start investing. I didn't jump on that wagon until I was 29. And the company that I worked for had an investment plan. It's in America. It's called 401k and they have Roth IRAs as well. And I jumped on board with my 401k and started setting money aside and investing in, I think it was 10 different companies. But gosh, I wish I had done that 10 years earlier. And I've only recently just jumped on board the Roth IRA. So for me, that definitely is something that I wish I had done much, much earlier. Now, having money in England and having money in America when you retire is slightly different, I think, because... In America, we still have to pay for health insurance, you know, your co-pays. And if you have a really serious illness or an accident even, and you're in hospital for a few days, you actually, if you haven't got your money situated right, you can become bankrupt. You can lose your house. You can lose all your savings, everything down to your health care. And that's not something that really happens in England. So... In America, you do have to handle your finances differently. So that is something that I do worry about when it comes to retirement age, um, health. Now, something else I wish I'd done in my 20s is I wish I had traveled around England more. Now, I didn't move out of England until I was 28. And I can tell you the furthest north I had ever been was Sheffield. And the only time that I went to Sheffield was on a day trip. And that was to go to a judo um, competition. And that wasn't me. I didn't do judo. It was a, a family member. And then prior to that, the most north I had ever been was Snowdonia. And I went there for a week in my teens. But I wish I had travelled more. I, there's so many places I haven't been to. And it wasn't until recently, what was it three years ago now, um, was the first time that I'd ever gone to Scotland and I really want to travel around Scotland. I just watched Brogan Tate's um, uh, her trip around England. I think she started somewhere in the, was it the Yorkshire Dales and maybe went to York, up to Scotland and then back down. So that was a really good vlog if you haven't seen that one. Now this, this is borderline a regret. It's something I didn't do. I tried to talk my husband into doing this when I was 20. Now I met my husband when I was 19, just turning 20. And uh, we moved in immediately. We'd only known each other 10 days and we decided to move in together. And within that first year, I think it was, I tried desperately to talk him into buying a house. Let's buy a house together. Let's get settled. Even though we lived together and we were committed, I really did try to get him to buy a house. So we had a ground in, a base in England, because I kind of had a feeling that we could possibly go overseas somewhere with his job, but I wasn't sure where, and I certainly wasn't sure for how long. I certainly didn't think it was going to be for 26 years so I wish we had bought a house we would have moved into it for at least gosh it would have been eight years and then we did move out of the country but we could have rented it so if I had managed to talk him into it that would have been in 1990 we could have bought a house and uh, you know with the appreciation that's happened since then um, yeah it would have been nice to have been able to just pack up and move back into a house in England that we already owned but that's so that is borderline of a regret 
not being able to talk him into doing that. As per usual, every Sunday at 7.30 a.m., this is a collaboration with the Transatlantic Housewives of YouTube. That's Tina from Tina's Talk Time, Karen from Geordie Grandma, and Maria from Maria Crocker. Now, we met each other via YouTube about two years ago now, and we have collaborated every Sunday for the last almost two years. So we've got a huge playlist. If you want to go into our playlist and look, mine is the Transatlantic Housewives of YouTube. So I've got lots of videos in there that we've collaborated on over the last two years. And uh, I'm sure Maria and Karen and Tina have the same. Now, another thing that I wish I had done in my 20s was not waste time watching so much TV. I can't, I can't even begin to imagine how many hours I've spent watching TV. Just like... Um, TV series, movies, news. That's something else that I've cut out of my life. I don't watch the news anymore. And I very, very rarely ever watch TV. I do watch a lot of documentaries. I do watch a lot of YouTube. I do try to learn something new every day. And even when I'm watching YouTube, a vlog or something, I'm always watching from the perspective of what can I take from this? What can I learn from this? Can I be inspired by this influencer? Can I get any ideas? You know, so... I'm always trying to push and learn something, not just wasting my time, just purely being entertained. Although I haven't totally cut that out. Now, if I could go back in time and whisper something into my ear, it would be, stop buying so much stuff. And I mean, stuff, just stuff. Junk food, clothes, ornaments, gadgets the latest beauty products. If I could rent a warehouse just for the day and put absolutely every single thing that I've ever bought in my entire life into that warehouse, I think that would be so interesting just to root through and, and just jog my memory. Oh, I don't remember buying that or I bought this and the clothes. Like I can remember being a teenager. I saved up and I bought a black leather jacket and I bought it from Freeman's catalog and I, I squirreled away money each little paycheck. I started a weekend job when I was 16 and I squirreled away money to save it for this black leather jacket. And when it came, I tried it on and it didn't fit properly. It was a little bit too small, but I was so eager to have this leather jacket that I didn't send it back and get, get the correct size. I was just so impatient that I had to wear it there and then. And to be honest, I very rarely ever wore it because it never did fit me properly. And so, you know, all the money that's just been wasted on mindless stuff that I've bought, if I could have put that into a savings account or if I could have invested that, gosh, oh well, I wish I could have whispered that to myself. Another thing that I would have liked to have told myself at age 20, and that is to watch the movie, The Secret. It's all about manifesting and I didn't watch that until I was 40. And things really started to change for me personally when I, after I watched that and really started um, looking at things slightly differently and talking to myself and telling myself, you know, one of the things I say in the morning is, I'm happy, I'm healthy, it's great to be 20. I say that religiously every single morning. I don't necessarily say it out loud. Sometimes I'll look in the mirror and I'll say it, but normally I just say it to myself in my head. I wake up, I look at the sun coming through the blinds. I'm happy, I'm healthy, it's great to be 20. And it's such an easy, quick thing to do, but it really does just it changes your mindset. I can honestly say I do not feel 55 at all, not even remotely. Google this article and read about an experiment that was done back in 1981 where they took eight 70-year-old men and told them to think like they were 22. I'm not going to tell you the outcome. You have to read the article. So those are just a couple of things that I might have changed if I could go back in time and just whisper to myself, hey, do this instead. Let me know if there's anything that you would have told yourself. I want to say a huge thank you for watching and if you enjoyed this video please consider subscribing. I'll see you in a couple of days and now pop over to Karen, Tina and Maria's videos. Thanks so much. I'll see you soon. Bye!